watching that same Civic Center defense force in Mahaika. Right. And they line up to walk out now. You know. So when they line up to walk through the gate to go on the field, Dick watching Charlie Spooner so and he say, What is today, boy? And Charlie said, Usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? So by the time they hit the gate, they said Charlie and Dick fighting. <laughs> Red card for both of the game is starting up. Is that, yeah. And those are stories, you know, when you, when, when you sit down and you hear the old-time players talking about football, those are stories they would interject with inside of the game. Yeah. That just added, yeah. you yeah. know, to the, to the aura and the mystery and the greatness of long-time footballers. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Field of Dreams on ACTN. My name is Steve David, and I'm your host. Today, we want to pay tribute to... Uh, our fallen brother, Larry Joseph. And I have so many people who wants to come on this show. So I brought a couple of groups of guys who is gonna spend the hour with us and we talk about the good and bad times with Larry and whatever other times that we had. And first I'm gonna introduce the presentation college contingent and Next to me is Dunstan Williams. Welcome to the set, Dunstan. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Next to Dunstan is Sean Cooper. Welcome to the set, Sean. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And Larry, good buddy, ever popular, Anthony Clark. Welcome to the set, Anthony. Thank you, Steve. It's always a pleasure. All right. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. And um, hopefully we can get more light on uh, Larry as a person. Um, we all met him on different situations and different occasions. I have met him here on the show as a, came on as a guest and then we developed a relationship. And after hearing him as an analyst, I had to have him as a, like a, a regular because he was so good at what he did. Mm -hmm. um, so I know you guys went to school together and so on and so on. So. Barbecue shop discussion, guys. Tell me, tell me about Larry. Um, well, how did you guys meet? Well, for me, um, actually, I met met Larry on the football field. Um, Sean and I were captains. Sean, I was the captain of Naparima College. Sean was the captain of Presentation College, and Larry was this dynamic midfielder that gave us bags of trouble, you know, and. Um, we struck up a relationship off the field after that. I mean, when he played for Petro Twin, I played for San, San Fernando Giants against him. But um, his relationship with me grew because we became friends. And I learned about Larry Joseph, the man. You know, um, always positive, always encouraging, um, always looking to diffuse any kind of antagonistic behavior. And um, when um, Sean asked me to come and join the Presentation College coaching staff, um, one of my first calls was Larry. You know, and um, he just encouraged me to go and do the right thing, help the kids, and it's, the rest is history. Right, Sean? Well, the first meeting with, with Larry was not a pleasant one. Because presentation, um, when we went in, we were about bringing back presentation from senior grade That's right. into colleges league. So we tried um, forming a, a bomb squ a squad, as we, w we would call it. Mm -hmm. And one day we went to PFC to play against them. And um, 
the coach wasn't there, Mr. Carl Osborne wasn't there. And we went down to PFC because, you know, small school. Mm -hmm. And we met a short red guy by the name of Scam. And he ran rings around us. And when we went back up to school, um, we told the, the principal and, and, and the, the coach, Mr. Osborne, we saw some, something happened Mr. Osborne wasn't there that day. And we told him, you see that red guy? We need him on the school team because he's a wizard. You know, along with our next, his friend, close friend to um, Winston Bigford. Mm -hmm. So both of them, you know, joined the squad. And from that day was problems. I think, as Clark, you will know, I think that was one of Pre's best footballing teams that I have seen that never really won the big titles. We right. won a, a, a knockout joint winners with, with, with St. Augustine um, probably back in 82. But Larry, Larry was positive. I'll give you a story. We, we were in qualification mode and we had to play Signal Hill with the likes of Wendell Moore, Frankie Mohamed, um, I think Ricky Nelson was on that squad also. And they defeated us 5-0 at Plymouth. The return game was at Union Hall. And um, Larry was cool. We said, how we defeating this team? And Larry said, just give me the ball. And that, that day, um, the coach took Larry from centre midfield and put him at the number nine. And in the first five, ten minutes, we were 2 nil up. And Signal Hill said, um, ladies first. And Larry scored the third, and he said, um, like it's only ladies playing the game. <laughs> we eventually won the game 5 nil, and tie it off. So I had some good times with Larry. Good. Um, Anthony Clark. I remember the, the introduction to Larry slightly different. I remember... Um, Carl Osborne wanted to, we were in senior grade. Presentation football was just going down and down and down. And the coach, obviously, that our aspect. But I remember it as him bringing a church side. And the likes of Ian David, and they say, a church side, coach man. He said, don't worry, let me play the church side. And you had Ian David, you had Brent Augustus, I don't know if you were yes, there for yes, that game, I, right? I, there. I, I, yeah. And Larry ran rings around the team. And after the coach came and he said, Well, right, what do you think about that fella? Right, think he go, they say, What we think? <laughs> and uh, people don't understand the impact Larry had on Presentation College because it was due to the fact that he was the the influential force on that team that presentation college began to come up from senior grade and continue into the realm of where we are today i don't know where we would have been if it was not for larry joseph so the influence that larry joseph had on the team and on the 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 the, the, the um the whole college as a matter of fact we started to feel proud of the college again, and, 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 and we were in intercals again, and, and, and so on. So he had a great influence that many may not remember, and not just an influence on the field, but an influence in terms of the moral of presentation college, mm -hmm. bringing us back to the glory days of who we knew we were. And that came through Larry Joseph. And I remember um, hearing a story with, um, and, and, and to show you the man, I remember hearing a story from um, Texas Cyrus when um, he just broke into the national team and, and um, uh, he saw he likes a brand, Ray Williams, Clayton Morris, and, you know, and these guys, and, you know, he was in awe. And, you know, he was telling me that Larry passed and said, uh, don't worry, a human just like us. 
because you look up to these guys like how mm -hmm. I would have looked up to you, Steve, back in the day. There's Steve David. And Larry will pass and say, don't worry, they're human just like us. Yep. You just do your thing. All right. So that was the person he was. I mean, right, there are many more stories, but right, we will yep. go. Maybe, um, Sean, you, you talked about him um, as, as a leader of the team and, and you guys before you guys were doing great. Maybe it's because you guys had to run into St. Benedict's that, that why you wasn't as good? No, you know? um, we dealt with St. Benedict's very easily did? Back, oh. back in those days. All right. It wasn't your day. But um, once Larry was on the field, yeah. we thought we could have defeated anyone. Anyone. Um, Larry was someone who instilled confidence in, in, in each player on the, on the football field. Um, I could remember going into the national team, um, I was probably number 40, and I could remember going up to, on, to the games, training sessions, and Larry on the bus, and I saying, way, hey, Larry boy, there's only 24 people that picking to go to Costa Rica, and Larry will say, Sean, don't worry, you'll make the team, you know, you'll make the team, even, even recently. Larry came to the squad um, in 2019 when we won the national intercall. He said, how the squad going? I said, we need some kind of inspiration. And Larry appeared in the training session. And he walked with fruits, Gatorade, a lot of stuff, he and Russell Monroe. Mm -hmm. and I said, Larry, you can't leave here without talking to these boys. So, you know, Larry spoke to them. And after that, it was history. Steve would have known that when Steve came to a game and he said, Sean, you have real work to do with these men. But then after some of the, the guys like Dev and Larry and they started speaking with them, mm -hmm. you know, they got that sense of positivity. Mm -hmm. And... It's history now. We won the national intercall, and and I I thank Larry up to up to around January. He, he, he called me, you know, and we still spoke about those things, you know. So big loss. Give me some unforgettable moments uh, on the football field that that you guys experienced with Larry, uh, maybe against you or, or with. Well, well, I would, I would go back to possibly after our playing days competitively. Um, we were part of a church league that actually George Matheson um, was the, he organized the league. Mm -hmm. And we met in um, Skinner Park in a knockout final, Marble Open Bible against Labrie Pentecostal. And um, Larry and they were leading through one. And we came back to tie the game through all. And there was a bit of controversy in one of the goals that we scored. And um, of course, the library boys were, were angry and, and I wasn't playing, but I was coaching the Marbella team. And I told the guys, let's settle down, you know, these things will be good. Larry walked up to myself, Brian, Bumpy Peters, and I think George, and he said, hey, what's happening? Let's go straight to penalties. There is no issue here. All right, this is not about who wins or who loses, but it's about the fellowship and the mentorship. And that was it. I mean, those things stay with me, you know, and even, well, I'll just try a little bit from on the field because what Sean talked about was Larry coming into school with all these goodies. But I went behind Sean's back as his assistant coach. Press didn't have the economics and we, would, we were having the boys a little longer because sessions are normally two hours, mm -hmm. but we were going for like three, three and a half. So I called Larry and I said, Larry, look, we just want to give the guys some refreshments when they leave. And I was surprised. I called him and I called his riding partner, Russell, we called Jack. And that's how Larry came with all the goodies. And he was very positive. He said, Dunstan, anything you all need, just let me know, we'll do those little things, you know? So Larry, the man. The gentle giant, that's what I call it. Um, I, I don't know how many people knew this, but right, Larry, 
uh, his first love was not football. It was actually cricket. But he was no good at it. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> and, but he loved yeah. cricket. Right. And I think um, I heard a story where his father wanted him to play cricket as well. And his father has never, n actually never saw him play a game of football. Not in college or with Trintock or with the national team. He never came to see him because he always wanted him um, to be a cricketer. Um, for me, the second best player that I would have played with locally after Russell Atapi in terms of skill and so on would have been Larry Joseph. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the era of him being prominent on the national team Right, wasn't there because Ryan Russell yes, was there, yes. right? right? But um, I think that that is where I will rank Larry Joseph in terms of players that I played with. Um, but I think Larry was more influential off the football field than he was on the football field. Even though he was that general and that player that we used to see and have a sense of awe about. Um, uh, right, Larry Joseph, the man, was even more phenomenal than Larry Joseph, the player. And um, it'll take a very long time to explain that, but um, he was a real kicks man. Plenty of people only saw Larry as, mm. you know, this church boy, but Larry used to talk a lot of rubbish, all right, and make people laugh and so on. He he. He was a man of faith. He, 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 he was a man of his community. He was a man very loyal to uh, his team, uh, his family, mm -hmm. um, and his church, and his God. And that was the type of individual that came to the field. So it was not that the field, the f right football created the man, I think the man just brought who he was to the game of football, and it all emerged. Yeah, but you're right, because I hear Larry, I, I heard him, I sit right here and hear him talk about other players, how great and how there's no jealousy in him. He gave you what you, you earned, what you got, and which is good. I like that, because I think we, I grew up in point with all of these great players, but everybody was like a fan of each other right you know we so talk about each other like like they were bigger bigger than life and larry does the same thing he talks about bobby sukram he talks about um Latapi with passion when we sit here he talks like that and mm -hmm. i respect him so much for that and you know that that he gives back what somebody earns he doesn't try to mm -hmm. to hug that himself and and he has good temperament. I've seen Larry sat, and people get him mad. Sometimes Clarkie gets him mad, normal as, as ever. Oh. And, and if you get him mad, you don't even know it, but he's normal. He doesn't, he doesn't show that heavy I mean, emotion. he had a lot of experience with me getting him mad, eh, Steve? That, that, yeah. that went back years. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that okay, I was, back I was, um, I was <laughs> <laughs> disobedient. <laughs> Not disobedient. Uh, I was a rebel <laughs> in that being a goalkeeper and, you know, right, seeing the other players, right, miss chances and so on and so forth. I was, right, that goalkeeper, right, had will say, listen, if you all know score, I'm you not diving know. on this hard ground, you know. <laughs> so all the better get all the act in order. And, um, Right, there was a time Trintock was playing Goodwood Racing Dodgers. I don't even know if you all know about that team. Remember and that day. Phil Bud Jones and Adrian <laughs> Fonrose running down yeah. and kicking the ball all over the place. We had about two goals national to teams. score. And um, I told him, listen, that nonsense that's going on there, if I make one mistake, all they on my back. So all they have to put, a guy came down, hit a shot, it bumping coming in, and I, I let it score. 
and we won that game 8-1 uh -huh. because they realized that I was serious and Larry always used to come down and say, Clarky, oh gosh, uh -huh. let's just play the football now. Uh -huh. I said, no, we'll have to go, we'll act in order. So I was very, uh, I, I, I had a lot of pride in, in the game as well and, and I wanted people to do their best as well as I would have done my best. Um, but, you know, it had times that um, I was very contangerous and, and, and mischievous, for want of a better word. And Larry would always be the one to come and say, Clark, oh gosh, let's just give them boys opportunity again. Give them opportunity. And, and so, right, we had many years of that. I mean, we played football in prayers. We played football in Trintock together. We played football on the national team together. So we have had a very long relationship in, right, in terms of playing. Right. as well as off the field. But, uh, Clarky, I think I'll disagree with one thing he said. <laughs> one thing he said. Um, Larry was a very good cricketer because I also used to play cricket. Larry came out with the likes of Augustine Logie and D.B. Sepp. He was a very good cricketer down at Labre. They had a, a, a fast bowler by the name of Cutter. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, so... I played school cricket with Larry also for prayers, and Larry could have held his own. In the bat, in the bowling? What? Bat and bowling. He, he was always a wise sportsman. Yeah. Right. Good decision making. I think that was Larry. You couldn't flush them. Mm. And if we wanted anything, anything, he could have been a good hostage negotiator. Back in the day, Back in the day, he might have been the only one to get Brother Michael to release Clarky Ban from press. <laughs> <laughs> only one. Because if we wanted anything from Brother Michael, all we had to say, Scamp, check my key. And Brother Michael will give Larry Joseph anything he asked for. Because the individual he was. He will, he will speak to you and... He will get you to do things that you normally wouldn't do. Because he instilled so much confidence in you, you could move mountains after he finished speak with you. Right. You know, and um, so, Clarky. Yeah, when I said that he wasn't a, 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 a very good cricketer, I was comparing to him being, being a, a footballer. footballer right? Um, so, so, right, I don't know why he chose football over cricket. But he excelled in cricket. I don't know if he would have reached so far in cricket, right, versus... I mean, he excelled in football. I don't know if he would have excelled in as far as cricket. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was because of school that he came to press uh, to play football yeah. that he eventually um, right, went along right that line. I don't know what it was. Let me, say, let me say something. Remember, back in those days, sports was seasonal. Right. So you play cricket and football. And football Many people don't know Brian Williams could have played cricket better than football. Mm -hmm. But because of Mr. Vidal taking him under his wings, he went the football direction. Mm -hmm. But so we had sportsmen back in the day who was just as good, but just probably the opportunity. But um, Larry has done so much for his community also. That's right. Um, he's a legend. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about him as a community man because he did. In Labre, he did. So go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, Larry, he was infectious. So whatever he did, he always wanted to put back. So he will go onto the field. He will cut the field. Yeah, and do stuff around the community, you know, in church. Let me tell you something. The only two Christians, I, the only two genuine Christians I know is Larry Joseph and Dunstan Williams. Because from, from age 15 to now, I knew Larry as a Christian. I've never heard Larry in an argument. I've never heard him use obscene language. I've never seen any situation he hasn't quelled because of his personality. Right. So he was like a big brother to us. Right. So just like Clarky, if I want an honest opinion on something, 
I will call I will call Steve. Not right. Steve, Tony. Yeah. We have our next clerk to Steve right. Clark. I will call Tony and Tony will give it straight up. Yeah. Larry will take the negative and make it positive. Mm -hmm. So he wouldn't dwell so much on what he see negative. He will look at, you know, ways that you could you could be successful. Right. And Dunstan the perennial Christian. I didn't know that. Glad to know you're a Christian. So tell us about Larry. What do you know about Larry? Well, as a Christian, when 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 I heard of Larry's passing, I got a call from Sian Samuel, one of the players that Sean and I coach, who lives in Labre. And um, Sian said, "Oh, Labre is a dark place now." And um, I know Larry for his strong Christian belief, and. Christianity, you really look at family, and I think um, Larry can help it. You know, um, Larry would do when most of us want to be praised for coaching or doing this. Larry would go and put up corner flags around the field, he would cut the field, as Tony said, mm -hmm. he would organize games, um, leagues um, for, the, for the kids to play and stuff, and that would be Larry. Just making sure everybody happy. And, of course, trying to quell any um, disagreements and not making it. I've never seen, I mean, I, I played against Larry. We tried to kick Larry, and I've never seen him angry. Hey, don't do that again. And he gone, you know. And that's Larry, you know. The Christian in him was outstanding. You know, that's how he impacted people's lives. Anybody could control Clarky, Larry could. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Ignore yeah. Clarky, you can't. Right? <laughs> yeah. but if, if Steve, if you have any kind of issue, yeah. um, you know, or decision, if you want a response from Tony, you know you're going to get hard love. Right. But Larry will listen yeah. and decipher and give you something positive to leave that discussion with. That was the person, you know. I listen to him on your program, and and, and you, you know, you know that is, I could tell you what Larry going and say because I know the way he thinks and the person he is. Right. See, before 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 Dunson go on, let me give you a classic, a classic um, presentation. We're going through a kind of rough period in terms of um, it was tight. The league was tight between Shiva boys. Naps and and and, and prayers, mm -hmm. and um, someone gave Larry a call, and told Larry, Larry, go and talk to go and talk to Sean, and see if you could get the team to um, to be more offensive, to score more goals. And Larry called me. A matter of fact, he came to the training session and he sat with me, and he said, Sean, listen. He said, you know, praise men are emotional and they always want the best. He said they called me and told me um, they think I should help you um, the off with the offensive part of the team. He said, but then I sat down and I look at the stats and you all have the most goals in the league and the least against is just that you all join too many games. Mm -hmm. He said, so... And I am not a coach. You are the coach. You are the qualified coach. So I told them, I am not going to tell Sean what to do on the football field. Right. And, and Clark, is the, Clark, Clark is the said thing. Although Clark is versed in the game, Clark will just come and say, brother, you have some work to do. <laughs> you do your job. Clark wouldn't come and say, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. In here. No. And they will be in the background. Right. So Larry will come to a game, watch the performance. He would not come down in the dressing room. I wouldn't even know he's there. And about a week after, he'll call and say, hey, Sean, you know, the team playing well. Just encourage the boys and success will come. And that was the guy. Lucky you are, I, I sit here and watch you and Larry verbally get at it without getting at it. 
and uh, I thought it was amazing. I used to like it. And uh, when when we going down, we, when we ride together, Clacky, I mean Larry and I, we we never talk about it, but he's back back to normal. What do you think? How you feel? Yeah, no, Larry, right? That one thing, right? Larry knows me. Yeah. He knows that I am also the devil's advocate. So especially being on this program, I would try to engage people in the program and as well and get emotions out of them because I understand what we want from the program as well. Right. And um, it was hard to get anything out of Larry. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I am going to have to move you guys to the other side and bring it in fresh group. Any part, parting comments from any of you before I, I, I switch? Well, I just want to say, um, on behalf of Brian Bumpy Peters, he asked me to um, say condolences to Cheryl and the children. And, um, you know, you're always in our thoughts on behalf of my family and the press community and the footballing community. And we have lost a true legend. I, I would like to represent the guys from North America. Lindley Prince. Um, Steve Clark, Ian David, you know, um, a lot of them, Blindley Prince, Frankie Arendelle, those guys were very, very close to Larry, um, Bull, Stephen Christopher. So I would like to extend my condolences to the family on behalf of those guys and my family also. So my best. Clarky, you did all you had to do already? No, um, we basically had uh, the international community had uh, the international press community had a Zoom meeting last night for about three hours and okay. all of the guys who are overseas uh, spoke to his family uh, gave them the assurance that the press community is here for them even though Larry has left anything that they need reach out to the press community and we will make sure it is done. So I did with Cheryl and the family write condolences from me and my family. I wish I to do it again and um, reconfirm the commitment of me and my family and by extension the press community to the Joseph family. I think I've got to take a break now, but thank you guys for being here. I've got to come with the group. Appreciate you. You'll be right back after this question. One of the greatest things I ever saw, yeah. you know, is in a game. We were actually on a game in a, in this, in a Rima Velodrome, you know, wet ground, wet ground. And, you know, during the game, you know, we saw a player from the next team, which will remain unnamed right now, right? Go on by the corner flag. And we didn't know what was going on because the game was going on. And there's only half time in the dressing room. Man was cracking up. They say, boy, you see what that man do there, boy? You must see what that man do. See, boy, that man going by the corner flag and leg one load, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome back to you. We have changed our contingent now, and I've got um, three other people that, that has some, some kind of relationship with Larry that we would learn about and hear a little bit more about Larry Joseph the Great. Um, Brian Williams, welcome. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Um, Dexter Cyrus, welcome. <laughs> thank you. And Rudolph Neptune, welcome. Thank you, Steve. Rudolph, you and Larry is um, has a connection back in somewhere in, uh, in yeah, Labre. From Labre. Tell uh, tell us a little bit about your connection. Well, Larry, Larry, Larry has been such an icon for me in the sense that Larry play with Trintock. I play with Labre Rangers. Larry is always a man love the game, football, love it, love it. Larry played football at a higher level than I. Larry played for Trinidad, he represents Strike Squad national team. And Larry had done so much for Lubbery as a person. Larry run minor league in Lubbery. He was involved with the Sports Foundation. 
nurturing the youth from the minute they could have walk. They could have come and do football training with Larry. They had all the equipment they could think about to bring a youth. Once you say you love this game football, Larry had the necessary equipment so, to coach you. And it was a good feeling. You know, sometimes you pass and you see Larry Joseph on the football field on a Saturday morning. I didn't even used to get the energy. Because Larry will go to work, fetch a train, and come back mm -hmm. on the evening and run a, the minor league. Yeah, yeah, tell you, run the minor league. And he, sometimes he wouldn't have no officials. And he will call his friend Randy. He say, Randy, I don't know officials today, boy. What are you going to do? You come down? I had to come down. My mother used to say, your boy call your boy. <laughs> you lie down already, but you go, you go in and, and assist him because <laughs> I'm a real bonify. He could have depend on me. Right. And I could have depend on Larry, talk anything with Larry. But Larry love for the game. Right. Was Larry, outstanding. Larry, Larry love for the game. He love for the game. That makes that all of that. Yeah, happen. all of that possible. All right, we'll talk a little bit more with, uh, uh, with you and Larry, but um, let me get Dexter and and Brian to get involved here in this discussion. Well, Larry J, well, I, playing against Larry J was my first encounter with him, right? Um, playing for Trinkapec. Always had a, um, a big clash when it comes to um, playing Trinta. He used to play for Trinta. Mm -hmm. um, so, playing against him, looking at the player, you know, and, you know, you're in awe, and then the company, companies merged. So there was no Trintopec and no Trintoc anymore. That's when we became Petrotrain. Mm -hmm. The football team then was called United Petrotrain. My first encounter, walking into the, 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 the dressing room and seeing well, with Trintopec, I already met, would have met Brian and Dexter Brian. Walking into the dressing room after the team would have merged, now I'm seeing Brian, Dexter Francis, Clayton Morris, Philbert Jones, Larry Joseph, Adaryl John, Sherwin Julian, Anthony Roger, Anthony Sherwood. Uh, you, 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 you're starstruck because I'm 21, you know. I'm 20, 20 or 21. And I'm looking at them, you know, like not realizing that I'm starstruck. Larry would have just put his hand on my shoulder like that and say, Youth man, them fellas is human beings just like me and you. Come here to play football, don't worry yourself now, man. And just take away all that tension. Just relax me, you know. And then he, he after that, everything was history. Peter Prosper was with Trintock too, and he yeah. came across. And the, 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 I think we, in in seven years, I think we got team of the year four or five times. Mm -hmm. I think we got team of the year four or five times out of, out of us during that seven-year period. Um, so... The, 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 the individual, what, what, there is, there is, there, this is a man who you cannot say anything bad about. Based on me knowing him, based on what I know, I don't know, I can't speak from before. Based on what I know, you can't say anything bad about him. You're not like a situation where you could talk nice in somebody face here and then go and back talk them behind the back. Mm, not Larry J. I've never heard or witnessed anything like that. Mm -hmm. Larry J was knowing the individual, you know that that man was blessed. You know he was blessed. Now we have to say that we are blessed now that he's gone because we have gotten to know and be close friends and play with an individual like that. You know? Right. Yes, TV, you know, 
it's really it's really difficult to put words together to describe our brother, our beloved brother, Larry G, as we so call him. Mm. What a true example, example for, for all of us, and even some young people of Trent to do this. Some say it's going too soon, but I say, knowing Larry, as Cyrus just said, you see our brother with, like, faultless. His family life, the true example to, to, to of, of a man and the way he should live in terms of his spirituality and how he, how he dealt with people was amazing. And I say, in, and I, when I sit and, and, and heard about Larry's death, I was very, very close to him. I've known Larry over close to 40 years. And we've had many moments. But when I look at what's taking place even so presently in the world today, as we would say, Jah say you're going to prepare a place where he is, and I shall be there also. And what's taking place in the world today, like you see like the Almighty gathering his soldiers, gathering his soldiers. That's why I want to describe it. So the loss of Larry, or oh, Larry not being present with us today, is a celebration of his life. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration of his life. Because outside of the football, Larry carries so much positive attributes that it seems faultless. As I said before, most of us could take example of the life the brother lived. I never see him in no kind of Never. weird out situation Never. or thing or whatever. Never. A principal man, a man with a lot of integrity Never. that he, could, he, he stands for the writing and all that. Anytime you see you strain, could be who? Manager, coach, players or whatever. Larry could address it. Hey, so so is the situation. And Larry hold us, to, hold us together a lot. During, during the close to the 40 years that I've known Larry, as Cyrus said, the key, the key battles was Trintopec and Trintoc. We used to, in, 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 in the early 80s, mid 80s. Well, men showed up. And it come, <laughs> as, a, and as, a, as I said earlier, it was like one team playing against each other because the relationship with the Trintopec players and the Trintoc players was so close. Even so, as national youth teams and national, we, we, we had that relationship. And then we become United Petrotri. But during that time, Larry was really the true leader. It was a notable omission of Larry not being a prominent player with the strike squad. For whatever reason, it's difficult, it's difficult for me to say. But is a strike, Larry should have, should have been, when you look at it, a key man on the strike squad. He didn't make the final cut. Well, it's difficult. As I said, it's difficult for us to mm -hmm. think, but Larry always carry that level of togetherness, brotherhood, and it never worry him. It never worry him. In the strike squad, latter part, Larry was the key figure in holding the strike squad together because we form a little committee, about five of us, that will deal with the affairs of the strike squad. Larry was, what we say, the secretary. Oh, the man who, who linked up. He formed the strike squad chat. He formed the strike squad chat. And we used to always bounce everything. People, birthdays, whatever, all our arrangement to travel and all those things. Larry was the key person linking up all of that. When we go into, when we go into Orlando, going to New York, the traveling arrangements, everything. All, all our documents and all them things Larry used to Larry used to, to deal with that. And we were so close. We were so close. That is why in his passing is a true celebration for me. It's a true celebration for me. Because Larry means so much for all of us. This is why I say there's nothing I see in, when we speak about Larry and most people, like you can't say nothing wrong with 
different about Larry. He's okay. such a sweetheart, okay. as they would say. And then when I look at his family life, his, he have three wonderful children. His wife is really a nice girl. All of all of you used to be together. So we have to just continue with that life celebration and use Larry as a true example of, for all of us in this time. Exactly yeah. what life could, should be like, right? Yeah. Larry left this physical realm here, but, but you know, he left his spirit with each and every one of us. And we will feel him as we go forward. Yeah. And um, I heard a, a pastor said one time, when the maker calls for his people, it's just like you go in to pick a fruit or a flower, you pick the best, right? You don't you don't pick the bad ones, no. you pick the best. So you draw yeah. Larry is one of those kind of people that and, and this was saying, yeah. Steve, that that I say Jassy repair a place where he is at and I shall be there also and, and I seen what taking place in the world today um racism corruption all when we read when we look at the news and what taking place in the world the, the the pandemic you could see you could see like the almighty calling the soldiers to, to to either rectify to rectify to and you seen what taking place to to put things in place today mm -hmm. that he have to have his true soldiers with him right and larry is one of them right larry is one of them right so um how are you gonna make out without the big brother larry Larry Joseph Bourne. My football team is still run between Larry and myself, the Masters. Right. And I say Larry will not want this to stop the end. Mm -hmm. Because Larry Joseph loved this game of football too much. Too much. Larry used to tell me, Randy, you know, two of us is the controllers of this Masters team. But you know, when Larry can't make it one game, he used to tell me, Randy, go and play the game. Right. There is only one person. You see, if two of us cannot make the game, then we'll cancel the game. Because you always want to have a senior person there among the fellas mm -hmm. to control the game. You understand? But Larry Joseph, I will continue this, my fat match team. Right. Just because of Larry. Because Larry and the is to stop. Good. I must call on this a partner of ours, Wayne Lewis. Wayne Lewis have over 50 team fat children all stars. And he used to call Larry to play every year we might play two games. Right. Over 50. Wayne saw me Friday night when he strikes get came down by Larry. And he said, Well, Randy, we beat all you once. He said, All you beat me about 10 times. He said, No, I'm again, more encouragement to play all you now. Because when Larry was the, we couldn't have beat all you. <laughs> he said, I ain't celebrated that he got it, though. but I know he could play our chance. And majority of the, the teams, the fat match teams that we play against, they never have a person that ain't no Larry Joseph. Mm. Everybody know Larry Joseph. Everybody know Larry Joseph. And, and, and for some reason, when they come to play, they used to say, like, we can't beat Larry, you know. yeah. What's Larry Joseph? Larry was like 10 man in one yeah. when Larry running on that football field, you know. My players used to get inspired when Larry did. Yeah. The yeah. feel to play, again, encouragement to play. Because Larry used to make a game so nice. Larry used to talk to you and make you feel to play the game. Get encouragement. Larry was a special one. Yeah. You know, you, you, you use certain remarks when people passed. You say they was good, was a good person. <laughs> this is not in this case. <laughs> Larry, you could walk through Larry and ask anybody about Larry Joseph. Larry Joseph was the man. You know that. Little, little fish fellas, coachman, anywhere they see Larry, coachman, coachman, coachman. Larry was that, that fire person. All right, Dexter, what do you think? What are you thinking about now? I, I am thinking that the individual that I know or knew mm -hmm. was Larry Joseph. I am thinking that the life that road that he chose to walk. This individual has to be one of the strongest personalities also off the field. Because now, based on Brian just said, when you look at what's happening in the world, 
-hmm. And this man walking this road where devout Christian, devout Christian, mm -hmm. devout practicing Christian, with 100% of our family life and community life and church life. Never once hear anything bad about him when it comes to scandal or nothing of the sort in how the, how the world is now. It's not to say it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a personality or a person who people wouldn't like. Everybody loves him. And he chose to walk that road. That's not no easy road. You know? That's a tough, tough life. You know? That is the strength of the individual. And he made it look easy. He made it look, because that is just how he is. That's just him. That's just how he is. He, he, he. Larry, I scored many a goals based on Larry's influence as a midfielder, just giving me balls, giving me passes and that kind of thing, right? But he was such a motivator, such a motivator. When, 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 it, when it comes to on the field, no, when you hear about his life off the field, it's even greater than on the field. It's even greater than on the field. Yeah. You ever score on Jefferson, George? <laughs> about 65 times. Yeah? <laughs> Jeff, let me hear what you think about Larry. But. Uh, Larry, um, I think it is very little that can be added to the, the gentleman that's, uh, that was Larry Joseph. Um, I think a lot has been said of people who played with him, you know, and, and that um, I had the opportunity to play against him um, throughout the latter part of his career again, and always exemplary in, in his football, and for me more so off the field. He, he was an individual who was extremely uh, influential. He, he, he was, he exemplified humility, right? Um, it, it's uh, nostalgic sitting in this chair here, you know, Knowing that he'd be next to us, and um, Clarky mentioned something that that's the he would always bring that lightness to the, the set too. You know, in between breaks, he'd be always you know giving some little joke. You know, to to like me move that type of thing. And um, I I it was a real pleasure. You know, a real pleasure and a blessing knowing him. Right? Um, he he impacted um everybody at the, anywhere that he went. And um, I think he leaves behind a rich legacy, right? To those who, I mean, you know, sporting personalities, they, 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 a lot of times you find them um, very much deep into themselves. Larry was into others, you know, and, and, and he had really a heart to um, see how much he could have brought into others. And that, that for me, it, it is what I remember him for most. Fine. I'll give you a chance to. Yeah, to to to, to, to add to all of this, yeah. all, all of this. Um, I think I, I really want to say I really feel. It was a really, great opportunity for me. Recently, to spend the last time with Larry on the football field, and I want to compliment. Field of Dreams too at easy at, at this point in time because the last time that we spent time on the football field was with Field of Dreams trying to do yeah, yeah. some virtual football <laughs> drills at, 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 at Clifton Hill Ground. And while we was there with Jefferson George, mm -hmm. Larry Joseph, Russell Monroe and myself, we kicked around the ball and Larry yeah. saying, boy, we feeling good this morning. Yeah. We could, we could, like hot we could take a little sweat. Hot sun because yeah. we did that, that program. Yeah. So the last time that Larry really spent on the, on the football field was really true. Um, field of Dreams little program and, and that was that was really nice that time too, mm -hmm. you know and Stevie is I don't know what could be said again what could be said again about about Larry but I really must say it was a great opportunity to have a friend of such nature to see a brother who we could all look up to and as I continue to say a great example to for all of us in family life and the way we should operate amongst people. And he was so amazing, so amazing. The energy that Larry used to bring, and, and, and every, wherever he is, mm -hmm. wherever he is, and the way he play, serious game, what we call fat match or whatever and whatever and them things, he, he was just totally amazing. So 
God bless your soul and life live on as we as I continue to say, we celebrated a real icon life. Yes. A, a real pa- icon. <laughs> apart from apart from um <laughs> apart from on the field and off the field, in just in the room and all those sort of things. Larry Joseph was um the sense of humor that the individual carries. <laughs> you know, that is what made me really mesh with him in the early set because mm-hmm. I you know I I like my little old talk too and my old talk talk mm-hmm. Larry he could bring love the, that he yeah, could break the break ice that. he could break the ice in a tense moment and, and, and make you laugh yeah. and make you laugh also too and all and nev- nothing never out of sort everything used to be clean and yeah, nice inside. yeah clean and nice no he never language, he never cussing he ain't no out of he never degrade nobody and stuff no. like that oh Steve is amazing well, well, is amazing well, well, is amazing well 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 nice amazing brother you know this kind of way it was infectious. It used to draw you in. Same, eh? Yeah. It used to draw you in. Yeah. Jeff, the little time you spend with Larry on set, because you don't know him off set as yeah. much, right? Exactly. Oh, and, yeah. and, and that's what I'm saying. The, the individual, he was, um, he's intelligent, you know? Very intelligent, um, insightful, right? And and he, he had so much, um, you know, just as he was on the football yeah, field, yeah. finesse to the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. You know, he was that kind of guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, because TV, and 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 what was what was nice about Larry, even if Larry was had the interest of a lot of kids and and Duku, he was never too much interested in coaching. Anyway. But see, his 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 uh, his administrative skills mm-hmm. was second to none. Mm-hmm. Was second to none because look, Larry wasn't let me say make the final cut of the strike squad, but he had all the strike squad players' date of birth. All information on the on, on the players that we could say, hey, we want a final. We, we, we want number for the. We'll call Larry now, and Larry will give you the number and stuff like. So his administrative skills, because you always in manager with, with when when we had a team called Swift, Swift Southwest yeah. Institute of Football. Mm-hmm. Just before United Petrochrin, he managed that team. Just when I when I coached United, United Petrochrin, he was the manager, mm-hmm. and the relationship was great, great. All right, we have we have a couple of minutes, but any closing remarks uh, before we, we we close? I my my <clears throat> I had the opportunity to coach Larry's son, Shimon Joseph, and well, I didn't know the I can't say that I I, I saw his wife and saw the daughter. The interaction with the son. You know they say that the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah, the chip don't fall far mm. from the block. Mm. Well mannered, well well rounded individual, just like the father, mm. just like the dad. Well rounded, well mannered individual, just like his father. It's uh, it was a it was a pleasure coaching the son, but it's even a greater pleasure to what you know to have known the dad, because well rounded the epitome of a well rounded man the epitome of a well rounded man you know and condolences to the family i want to quickly i i want to quickly say that you know it's been a larry larry passing i think it's a lesson for all of us in terms of we as individuals you know we respecting each because Larry Larry was respected by all and he is a respecter of all and this is what life will show us because what we what 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 Larry Parson taught me and could see is to is that for us all of us in the football for especially in Toronto we need to come together more and be more you know conscious and acceptable of one's life and what we do in the interest of Again, as always, talk about throwing that football. Mm. All, right. Was... All right, we come to the end, guys. Um, um, before we close, I want to make sure that uh, on behalf of Field of Dreams, I want to say, my co- um, give my condolences um, to the family, um, Cheryl and, and the kids uh, yeah. of Larry Joseph. Um, Larry is a brother. We will miss you. Um, rise and uh, sleep well. Um, hopefully, um, you made it this an example for all of us and we and wake us up to what true life is all about 
Um, guys, thank you for being here to share your views um, on Larry Joseph, the man, the husband, the player, the everything. Yeah, Respect you, bud. Um, ECTN, thanks for the opportunity. Viewers, thanks for tuning in. And we, we do come on at 8 o'clock and repeat on uh, Monday night and repeat one and Saturday and also Tuesday. Uh, this show is ended for peace, my name is